The absolute first thing that you need to do every day when you arrive for your shift is log into WC Online. This will tell you what your day is going to look like and prepare you for any appointments that you may have upcoming very soon. Schedules change really frequently from minute to minute, so you may have left home thinking you had no appointments coming up and you may arrive and have one waiting for you. So this is why it's important to log in the minute you get there. So you get to the WC Online login page, you put in your email address and your password, and if you would like to, you can go directly to the schedule that you're looking for. If you're working SI, you can go to that one. If you're working right side at night, you can go to that. You can also do this from inside of WC Online you don't have to choose your schedule before you log in. I like to make sure I always select stay logged in so that it doesn't sign me out after a while. You select log in and it'll bring you to the WC Online main page. Most of you already know what this looks like. It has a list of the tutors to the left, what kind of appointments they take, and then you'll notice that there is a list of color coding in the Blackboard module that you're using. It tells you what each color means. This dark color means that the person is unavailable during this time. The gray color means that time has passed over and is no longer available. Green means that there is an owl appointment. Blue means that there is a face-to-face -face appointment. White means that that's available. And if you have a red appointment, that means that an owl live is coming up. So always make sure and see what it is that you have coming up and when. That's the first thing you're going to want to do. And the next thing you're going to want to do is take a look at what your appointments are. For instance, if you have an information table appointment, you already know what that means, but if you have an owl appointment, you may want to see what it is that they want you to do. So you can prepare and get any handouts. This, for instance, is, a, is an owl appointment and it has an assignment description and a topic and it has very specific questions and concerns. If you'd like to toggle between the different schedules, you want to look at something else, you can do this by time or by type of schedule. So if you want to look at a different type of schedule, you can just select the schedule type drop down menu here and toggle between the different menus. Supplemental instruction, right side at night. Usually those are the three main kinds of schedules that we're going to have. If you want to toggle between different times, current week is what you're usually on and it will always take you back to current week when you select this. If you want to look at something that you did last week, for instance, want to check on something, you can always hit previous week and it'll take you back. If you want to see what's coming up in the next week, then you can always just hit next week. And you can keep doing this as many times as you need to to get where you need to go. If you want to go a few months back and you don't want to hit previous week or next week a million times, all you have to do is open up this handy little schedule and go back by month. Or you can go back by entire year. This is mainly a menu for students updating the profile and email options. This is for if they want us to use a different email address. If a student ever tells you that it's not sending um, their OWL appointments to the right email address, have them update it using this. You can also use your client form management from here. Um, you can search records from here. You can look at appointment reports from here um, if you want to see what it is that you have and haven't done. And there's also a product manual if you need any help. Of course, that's something that you probably won't be using as often. So that's basically how you're going to be starting your day in WC Online, just logging in, looking at the different colors and seeing what it is that you have upcoming and opening whatever that is and taking a look for the future. In the next video, we're going to be looking at how to manage clients and how to edit and change appointments.